The Cult Mechanicus and their Skitari Legions are by far my favorite Warhammer 40k faction. I love their mix of insectile and old golden age sci-fi, but for a while I've been wanting to create some Skitari that are a little less sophisticated than the typical, flesh and muscle merging crudely into machinery. For the base of these Skitari, I started with Necromunda Bone Grinders, which are perfect for this build. Necromunda Gangs are a great base for almost any conversion exploring the underbelly or more horror side of the Imperium, and Bone Grinders specifically look nicely as though their tech priest has been injecting them with steroids and bio-treatments to promote muscle growth. To continue that idea of flesh and muscle melting over machinery like hot wax, I picked an orc knob harpoon for the left arm. Though it's originally an orc piece, the size is right for the Bone Grinder and isn't noticeably orky in design language. A lot of the time I have trouble finding the right head for a model, but in this case I actually had too many that worked. Each gave the Bone Grinder a different energy and character, but the one I ended up liking best was the Skitari Ranger hood. The contrast between bulky body and hooded head gave the model a really interesting look and conveyed a real post-human feel and mystery. For the right arm, I picked up this Imperial Guard flamethrower to try and merge with a roided out orc arm. I originally thought it would be pretty simple to do, but what it ended up was looking terrible and very clearly like I had snipped off an arm and gun and glued them together. I tried it again with a grenade launcher for one of the other Necromunda gangs and it ended up looking just as terrible. I could probably have made it work with some green stuff, but why reinvent the wheel? Instead of trying to marry a gun and arm, I just took another knob harpoon arm and reversed it from a left arm to a right one. It was actually relatively simple to work out once I started. I snipped off the flesh parts to leave just the harpoon, then cut up an orc arm to match with the harpoon. The final product was much better than my first two attempts, and I went ahead and attached it to the bone grinder torso. Because it was initially the inside facing part of the harpoon arm, the modified one is lacking a little bit in detail. I spruced it up with a plastic card square to match the other arm. I don't have footage of it, but before that I also added a terminator bit to the back of the arm to give it some texture, and gouged the smoother parts of the harpoon to look like it was damaged. Relatively happy with him, I decided to start out on the second Skatari, though I would end up bouncing back to the first one for alterations as I went. For this second one, I decided to merge it with a Catafron chest plate to give it a little more of an Admech look. The front of this bone grinder's body is actually a separate piece, so I didn't have to carve it off, just make a simple snip at the waist. Fitting the Catafron chest plate did take some snipping of the bone grinder's collar, but it actually fits in really well and the scale matches nearly perfectly. I used green stuff to fill the torso and the few gaps. In fact, I liked it so much I decided to go back and add the same chest plate to the first bone grinder. I tried adding a catafron arm to the left side. This is a really cool bit and gave the bone grinder a really cool ape-like silhouette, but ultimately didn't match the melting flesh theme I was going for. About this time I got the chainsaw arm from the knobs kit which uses the same basic concept as the harpoon arm. I ended up liking it so much that I replaced the left arm of the first bone grinder with it, though it took a little shaving to get it to sit at the right angle. On the right harpoon arm, I also reduced the length of the stake to be a little bit more realistic. Happy again with the first bone grinder, I went back to the second. I didn't want to just copy the arms from the first one, so I decided to start experimenting again with different merged arms, though this time I used the knob arms as a base. I've always liked this orc chain axe, so I thought about adding it for a bit, but decided against it. The result had a slapdash look that would have worked for an orc, but doesn't match the more sophisticated tech of the Adeptus Mechanicus. I converted another harpoon arm from left to right and instead of the chain axe, opted for the Necromunda grenade launcher. This worked well, but the angle was incredibly awkward so I switched it to the buzzsaw arm. I tried out the earlier orc chain axe, but the result was a little too crude and orky. Instead, I decided to attach the buzzsaw I just cut off and smooth it over with some milliput. I'm fairly pleased with how the pair of Skatari ended up. They really fulfill the original melted wax flesh look I was going for, though I feel like the second one isn't quite as good as the first. Something about him just doesn't synergize as well as the first one did, and I may go back and revise him in the future. At some point in the future, I'm also going to try and make a Tech Priest Dominus which has the same visual language. So if you're interested in seeing that, hit the subscribe button, and while you're at it, check out the other Adeptus Mechanicus conversions I've done. Thanks for watching.